How spectacular is this hike? Those two joining beaches and seeing Victoria's mainland and all the way down to Wilson's Prop. It's truly breathtaking. I might have to reevaluate my top five hikes. top of these sand dunes and get it on a bodyboard and flying as fast as we could down on the bodyboard and go and skimming all the way into the water. Oh, the crazy stuff we did as kids. Hello and welcome to another Healing Hikes adventure for this week. Last week we went to the Bicentennial National Trail, the world's longest hiking trail. But today we're in Phillip Island. So we're at Cape Woolamai. Woolamai in Aboriginal stands for snapper. So we're doing a secret track today. It's only 10 kilometers and we're gonna go right out to the point. You're gonna have a look at some granite, big granite cliffs, which actually contributed to the building of Parliament Station and the Parliament House and the Shrine of Remembrance in the Melbourne CBD. There's over half a million mutton birds or shearwaters on this peak. There's going to be hopefully some dolphin and whale spotting. There's walks along the beach, secluded bays. This one's really exciting guys and thank you so much for joining us for another video. I hope you're all well and happy hiking. My beach is actually the longest beach on Phillip Island. So Phillip Island is an island connected to Victoria's mainland by a bridge from San Remo. Now Cape Willamai or Willamai Beach is the longest beach on Phillip Island. And the track we're doing is gonna follow the Cape all the way around the whole circuit to the back beach, to the pink granite boulders and a place called the Pinnacles. There's also a navigation and a weather station up there at the top. So we'll see that. Um, in the migration and mating seasons, you can see a lot of humpback whales hopping through the water here. Um, due to the large number of mutton birds on the, on the island, and especially on the Cape here, there's a lot of snakes, so be careful and be wary. Watch where you're going. And um, yeah, the occasional dolphin you also get jumping out of the water here. Um, at the moment, we've got some surfers down there surfing. So this is a popular surf beach with a massive surf culture on the island. All right, let's get around to the pinnacles and I'll show you that one.
there's going to be little secluded bays that you can go for a nice swim on and you can see the Victoria's mainland from. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting down there and walking along the beach as well. I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Alright, so we've just arrived at what they call the Pinnacles, so we'll check that up nice and close. On this hike there are a lot of um, what they call swamp wallabies so they're a lot more black they've got a tinge of red but there are a lot of those on this trail as well a wallaby is a smaller version of a kangaroo so we'll be sure to check some of those out as well I'm constantly on the lookout for the moment for the dolphins and for the humpback whales and I'll hopefully I'll get some on footage as well channel there's new hikes that we do weekly we go to different varying lengths varying locations hikes and we take you on the hike from the very start to the very end of the hike we don't miss anything and we film as much detail and give as much information as you can so the point of the channel is to obviously help educate get you outside from the seat of your couch and see places you've never been to before and it's also to help those with time constraints or financial constraints or disabilities and um, yeah just really help you get outside from the seat of your couch so you're viewing and you're watching and checking it out really does mean the world and um, yeah thank you so much and hopefully one day I'll see you on the trail So we're walking through some real dry coastal shrubs now, some tracks, and what's going to happen is we're going to go inland to some swamps, and then we're going to get to the navigation station on the end, so that's a good rhyme, that one. So I wanted to let you know that Phillip Island is also popular for two other things, a penguin parade that happens down at the Nobbies, and Seals Rock, which has one of the largest colonisations of seals in the world. Now. It's costs for entry to go and watch the penguins and it can be up to $75 and I believe it starts at around $27. So I contemplated doing that one, but it would just be the penguins walking up and there was only a one kilometer boardwalk there. Have a look at this. So we're weaving the track now, as you can see. And you can see Victoria's mainland over there and the San Remo Bridge. And we're coming up to the weather station now there's we'll give you a good close-up
how beautiful is this hike? It's so gorgeous. What 360 degree views just here. Victoria's mainland and San Remo just over there. And then this way down here is Wilson's Prom. So we did do an overnight hike or a couple nights down in Wilson's Prom. Prom. So if you go back three or four videos, that's where that should be. But here we've got the Bass Strait. Here's the weather station. So the Bass Strait connects Australia's mainland to Tasmania. And then, yep, down there is Phillip Island. And the biggest, longest beach in Phillip Island, Woolamai Beach, popular surf beach. So you can see the trail that we're going to be taking down now. All right, well, let's get on it. private secluded beach so you can go for a swim here there's also these really huge red granite rocks and a granite quarry where they actually made the parliament house and the shrine of remembrance from these granite boulders let's check this out beautiful is this beach and you get it all to yourself on this hike it truly is an amazing secret walking about a kilometer along the beach right now to get to join up with the hiking trail so um, yeah that's a real great feature you know you can have a rest you can have some lunch bring some drinks bring your swimmers bring a towel in winter bring a rain jacket but yeah great feature to be able to just walk and enjoy what nature has to offer and I really like you can see the connection in the distance between the mainland the bridge and the island life. It's gorgeous. So check out these sand dunes behind me. So they're about, I would say at least 40 meters high and the angle of them is like that. So it's a real hard climb. And when the tide's in, the water goes right to the very base of them. And I remember as a kid, climbing all the way up to the top of these sand dunes and getting on a bodyboard and flying as fast as we could down on the bodyboard and going skimming all the way into the water. Oh, the crazy stuff we did as kids. We're so lucky nothing happened that we didn't hurt ourselves. But I bet you we're not the only ones that have done it. Yeah, it's about 40 metres, I reckon, and real steep. All right, so we've got some sand dunes coming up. We're going to follow the beach for another, like... 30 meters, I'm at um, 50 meters maybe, and then um, yeah, get on some sand dunes. Check those out. Oh, 
the hike's all over. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, it really does mean the world. So we're going to go on a big iconic hike in a Victoria all the same next week. So I hope you're all well and happy hiking. started raining so I just packed up my pan, pan, uh, campsite pan pan camp campsite just in time so um, oh you'd be amazed at the amount of bloopers I'm no professional at this I just film and edit it on my phone. Mm -hmm.